One of the things that most distinguished the great megalopolis of Alexandria in the first millennium AD was its unrivaled reputation for rioting. There was no mob quite like an Alexandrian mob. Indeed, a ducal philo in the first century AD described the tendency of Alexandrian women to grab the testicles of those that they disagreed with. Now, this extraordinary bust here is witness to centuries worth of Alexandrian mob violence. Um, it portrays almost certainly Germanicus, who was one of the great heartthrobs of the early Roman Empire, the nephew of the Emperor Tiberius. And in AD 18, he turned up in the city um, and he was such a kind of matinee idol to the Alexandrians that they did what Alexandrians always do. They staged an enormous riot. Um, they hailed him as Augustus. And when this was reported back to Tiberius, he was understandably not very pleased that Germanicus had been greeted with such enthusiasm. Um, Germanicus then left the city, but the memory of his stay there was preserved and this bust presumably was, was kept as a sort of treasured memento of his visit. But over the course of three, four centuries, great changes took place in the Roman Empire and we can see this literally stamped on his forehead. There is a cross. What has happened in the three centuries between Germanicus' arrival in Alexandria and the incising of this cross on his forehead is that the Roman Empire has become Christian. And that has added a whole sectarian element to the continuing enjoyment of the Alexandrians for rioting. Um, and what happens over the course of the fourth century is that Christians start to turn their energy for mob violence against the Jews, but also against pagans. And the culminating um, atrocity, if you like, of that relish for rioting that takes place in 391, when the great temple of Serapis, probably the, the kind of the Vatican city of paganism in Alexandria, is torn to pieces. And Alexandria is enshrined as a Christ-loving city. Now, this did not bring to an end the ability of Christians in Egypt to riot, because even though Christianity had been firmly established in the city, even though Alexandria was now the Christ-loving city of the Alexandrians, there were arguments about the nature of Jesus to keep rioters happy. So to begin with, they could argue about the precise relationship of Jesus to God the Father. And then when that had been resolved, they could carry on having an argument about the nature of Christ, the relationship of the human to the divine within his body. So intense did this become that it divided not only Egypt, but increasingly divided um, Alexandria and the entire province from the emperor in Constantinople. And this meant that by the seventh century, when an Arab invasion of first Palestine and then Syria threatened the Roman frontier of Egypt, the city is ready to open its gates to these invaders. And the age of the Roman Empire, the Christian Roman Empire, is over. Islam has arrived.